12 minutes to six, this is Five Live Drive. A five-year-old girl is believed to be the UK's youngest victim of a forced marriage. She's one of 400 children who were helped last year by the government's forced marriage unit, which is run by the Foreign Office. And ministers are currently looking at whether or not to criminalise the practice in England, Wales and Northern Ireland. We can speak to Anita Prem, who is the founder and president of the Freedom Charity, which works to protect children at risk of honour-based violence and forced marriages. Good afternoon, Anita. Good afternoon. I think people will be shocked when they hear the, the age of this girl, five years old. It's absolutely appalling um, and it's almost incomprehensible. But when you're, when you're talking about forced marriage and young people, you're talking about child abuse. And I think if you put it in that context, it's it almost easier to palate and understand. But that is what we're talking about. We are talking about child abuse when we're talking about forced marriage in children. And there's nothing honourable about it. So Freedom are trying to campaign for the language to be changed to dishonour. At that sort of age, are we talking about a formalised marriage ceremony? How does it work? Often we're not talking about that. Often it's a promise that someone will get married at the age of five. I mean, the youngest case that we've heard of at Freedom Charity is of a nine-year-old that went to um, Pakistan and she was engaged to her cousin at the age of nine and the marriage didn't actually occur until she was 16. But, I mean, you know, as a child... Sorry, I was going to ask Anita how you become, you mentioned that you'd become aware of this nine-year-old. How do you actually find out about these cases? Is it that people within the community perhaps break out and tell you? How do you become aware of them? Well, Freedom Charity was the first charity actually founded to look at young people and forced marriages. And we set up the first ever 24-7 helpline, which young people can phone in and ask for help as well as their best friends, and we've got the first text line. As a result of the services we have, we have young people phoning directly into us, and they speak to our professional helpline, and that's how we know about a lot of cases that are happening right now. And actually, we do a lot of work in schools. We've started a very large schools program where we're going into schools, we're delivering a book that I've written called But It's Not Fair, where it deals with the issues of forced marriage, and it's a piece of fiction, and we have lesson plans that we deliver for, to schools and assemblies. So we're raising the awareness in very, very young children so they know what the issues are and what to look out for. That must be part of it, because I imagine until somebody tells them that this isn't right, they're never to know. No, they're not to know. And one of the things we do is we target the best friend. So if the best friend can advise somebody they know that's about to be forced into marriage what's right and wrong and what the key warning signs are and what to do, that will make all the difference. I mean, as a charity, we're going to be launching an app just before the end of the summer term so young people who've got mm. smartphones can actually find out what the signs of a forced marriage are and who actually is there to help them. Thank you, Anita. That's Anita Prem from uh, the Freedom Charity. And if anything that she's mentioned there is, is something that perhaps you're affected by or it's, it's chiming with you, uh, you can visit the charity's website and find out more. The address for that is freedomcharity.org.uk.